All right, guys, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm at the Tahara plant in Japan. So much to share with you, so much to talk about this plant. But I have with me uh, an actual assembly engineer that works at the factory line that produces the Land Cruiser 250 series, the Lexus GX, and the upcoming Toyota 4Runner. So what a privilege and honor to be able to interview uh, this very important person who knows exactly what's going on in what we call the building number one or assembly number one at the Tahara plant right here in Japan. So let's find out a little bit more about uh, the inner working uh, of what makes these vehicles so special. So let's uh, start with that. I'm going to talk in Japanese. I'll translate back to English, back and forth, back and forth. All right, so it's a bit of a long discussion here, but first I wanted to ask about the Land Cruiser 250 series and why it's produced in two plants. So it's produced right here in Tahara plant and also produced in the Hamura plant, which is part of the Hino company. So it's a, a subsidiary of Toyota, of course, but it's a slightly different plant. And this is really to do with the capacity. They want them to produce the Land Cruiser in a timely fashion and get it into the hands of the customers. So um, both plants, that's the Hamura and also Tahara, produces the same models of the Land Cruiser 250 series. So it's not like one produces a certain type of engine or trim and the other one does not. No, actually they both are producing the same 250 series. All the trims, all the power plants are produced there. And also it's not divided based on which one goes to um, the international market versus domestic. So both Hamura and Tahara well export and but also sell within within Japan. So now I'm going to ask about whether there's any difference in terms of quality control or standard between the two plants. I don't think there will be, but I'm curious as to what he will say. I kind of knew the answer to this question already, but I asked whether there will be any differences in terms of approach or manufacturing or quality standard between Hamura plant and Tara plant. And he assured me that no, there is no difference, same standard. In fact, when they were preparing for production during the um, early prototype stage, uh, both teams working together as a single team to create the final standard and final production methods for 250 series. So uh, they produce the same standard. There's no difference in terms of quality control or um, even things like the gap of the panels and the paint finish are identical between the two. Uh, but there is a difference in capacity in a sense the Hamura plant can produce a little bit higher percentage of the product compared to the Tahara plant, because Tahara plant already have many different models it's producing. So there is a bit more uh, capacity on the Hamura side, and therefore I would say there's a higher chance that if you buy a Land Cruiser, it could be built in the Hino plant, which is the Hamura plant versus the Tahara plant. Okay, another important question is that all of you guys know the Lexus GX Land Cruiser 250 series and now the Forerunner, which is 2025 model, uh, are basically using the same platform and sharing many components. So what happens at uh, Tahara plant? Well, he did confirm, which is something I suspected already, uh, and that is that uh, all three models are produced in the same line, starting off with the stamping shop and press, which of course have a different uh, mode for producing different panels if the panels are actually different. And they go through a welding shop where they put all the different panels together. They weld them together using spot welding and also some laser welding. And I, f I thought maybe they will separate the models at that point. But he said, no, you go through the same flexible line. And therefore, the robotics will change the positioning and pick up the different parts to produce those three models. But they go through the exact same welding shop. And finally, after the welding, it goes through a paint line, which is also the same process for three models. Uh, of course, the Lexus will have a slightly different paint selection uh, because the paint itself is not the same with Toyota. And there may be additional clear coat or additional layers of paint in some cases for Lexus. So those are some differences between and among the Lexus and Toyota lineup. But otherwise, they go through the same line. And finally, they all go through the final same general assembly except the Lexus has additional checks and balances, additional audit, uh, but they are built by the same production worker. So that's uh, maybe some kind of reassurance for those of you who are buying a Land Cruiser uh, or the upcoming 4Runner versus the GX to know that they're more or less built to the same standard and that's a very exciting news. All right, so my final question was, what are some of the key differences or rather the similarities among all the three models, the 
the TNGAF platform vehicles, the Forerunner, the GX, Land Cruiser 250 series, those are the three models that we are most interested in at the Tahara plant because they're all produced in the same line and comes off the same assembly line. And he did assure me that for the most part, other than the fact that GX being a Lexus has some special inspection and so forth, they're built to the same standard by the same workers, and in some cases using the same components, as you would already know. So for example, between the GX and Land Cruiser, uh, the hood is different, front fender is a little bit different, but the front doors, the rear doors, the rear fenders, and also the uh, actual roof are identical between the Land Cruiser and Lexus GX. So for those of you who somehow thought they're more different than uh, similar, no, that's not the case. Actually, most parts are similar. Obviously, the interior is quite different, but underneath the platform is the same. The actual frames are the same between Land Cruiser and 250 series as well. Uh, and then what about the Forerunner? Well, the Forerunner has a different body, obviously, so that is clearly different from either Land Cruiser or GX. But underneath, he assured me one more time, uh, as I suspected, that the frames are identical among all three models, the Forerunner, GX, and the Land Cruiser. Uh, key difference being the suspension pieces, so the attachment points for some of those suspension are a little bit different. So some of the smaller um, pieces that are welded to the frame are maybe a little bit different. Uh, between Forerunner and the other two models, but the actual frame itself, the main components are identical. And these were all done to standardize the vehicle so that it can lower the cost, design these faster and produce faster. But the added benefit for you guys is that both the Forerunner and the Land Cruiser 250 series are basically more or less the same standard as the Lexus GX. And the, uh, also on the flip side of the coin is that if the Lexus GX is basically a Land Cruiser 250 series with the Lexus Touch. So you get all the benefit of the durability and toughness of a Land Cruiser passed on to a Lexus GX, and for that matter, passed on to the Forerunner because all three of them share so much of the DNA. So those are some of the most interesting questions I've had for the Tahara plant. Uh, we want to thank him so much for being here to interview at the very end of the day, end of my Tahara plant tour. I'm coming back here, I think, in maybe end of this year to tour the Forerunner and Land Cruiser 250 series and the GX line. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but until next time, or until that uh, time it has come, I'm going to thank him and we say goodbye to you guys as well. Thank you very much.